All right, in this video, uh, okay, so people who know me, uh, you know I'm big into tape diagrams as a powerful math tool for solving a lot of problems, specifically ratios, proportions, and percents. Now, uh, and for, well, heck, specifically anything. No, just tape diagrams are incredibly powerful math tool. The problem is there it's really hard for teachers to learn about tape diagrams themselves so that they can then go and share tape diagrams with their students. So uh, I found a long, long, long time ago this amazing resource. I'm finally getting around to sharing it with everybody. Uh, mathplayground.com. This is not my website. I'm not a paid endorsement or anything. I just wanted to shout out Math Playground because it's such an amazing tool for other things, but specifically right now, uh, tape diagrams, to learn tape diagrams. So you go to mathplayground.com, you scroll down, and uh, you can click on right here, Math uh, New th Print Thinking Blocks Word Problems right there. Uh, so I'm going to click on that, and it opens up this tool. And uh, I can choose from a whole host of topics, and let's say I'm going to do ratios. Now, each topic gives you a whole choice of a variety of types in that topic. In this case, ratios is the topic, but I could do known part, known total, known difference, etc. And if not, if I'm not sure what this means, for example, I can click on known total, and it's going to give me an example of this, and I can just click the interactive button, and it's going to just give me a whole host of examples. Uh, but even in that type, there's a couple, there's a couple of flavors. I can choose the unknown as the part, or I could choose the difference. Choose the difference as the unknown. And again, if I'm not entirely sure what that means, I'm just going to click that interactive button to get a sense of what that looks like. Once I've found the, the, the topic, the type, and the flavor of problems that I want my students to practice, I could just click the print button, uh, but that's going to give me a PDF that is, ex you know, uh, with limited workspace for my students. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the worksheet button and then I'm just going to select all right here. I'm going to select all and then I'm going to open up a tab and I'm going to go to my docs.new and I'm going to create a brand new uh, Google Doc. Now, if all I do is command V, I'm going to get this ugliness. All right. Now, technically, if I zoom in you'll see here's the problems. You can kind of see the problems going on here. Uh, but an easier way to go about it is I'm going to delete all that. When I do paste, I'm going to do edit paste without formatting. And that gives me the problems. And then I can add space as needed. All right. In fact, what I might do is just say, you know, maybe I don't need this last problem. And maybe what I'll do is I will do it in a table and I will do each problem in its own cell. And then one more and bam, I can say, oh, let's drag this down to be almost the entire page distribute those rows and look at this. Now I have a little bit more room for each of these problems and and, and that's it. Now, uh, first off, that's cool enough right there, right? Now, the other cool thing is uh, if as I'm, as the teacher, I'm learning this and I'm not sure how to do it, uh, I can practice because it's going to be, it's going to give me some self-correction here. Um, and then, as I'm doing this, I can use this tool down here and I can draw the model. So I don't know, let me get find something that doesn't have quite so much to draw here. Uh, there, two to five. Okay, so Emily, Noah shared 80, 84 lollipops in the ratio of two to five. So that means I can go down here, use this tool, and I can draw my ratios two 
and I can then draw five down here and I can draw it. Now, of course, I'm using my mouse and my laptop and what a pain in the rear this is to try and draw with my laptop. Uh, by the way, I can always click the model button and see how I'm doing in terms of drawing the model. The really cool thing is I can switch over to my iPad here and I'm on, I can scroll down. I can click on th the thinking blocks word problems and it's going to give me the app that I have to turn on and then I'm going to log on. And now here it is. I can go back to uh, ratios. I can do, oh, known difference, let's say. And let's say I, I the unknown is the part. And then uh, I can just hit interactive to make sure it's the kind I want. And then once I've found the one, you know, the kind of stuff I want, then I can just draw it. Now, because I'm on my iPad, it is way easier to draw my ratio, in this case, of 5 to 6. And then Naomi receiving 9 more, so that was... Kyle and that was Naomi and Naomi receiving nine more. That means each of these little units is nine. And I can go on and continue answering the question. But at this point, I won't because this isn't a tutorial about how to solve them. It's just a tutorial on, man, how cool is um, building, I mean, a uh, math playground, the thinking blocks idea. And then once I get the idea, I get the answer, I can click the checkbox. I can still, even on my iPad, I can look for the model. And heck, let's finish this because I want to see what it looks like if I get the answer right. So Kyle and Naomi shared a cash prize in the ratio of five to six. Naomi received nine more. How much money, oh, how much money did Kyle get? So he got five units, five units times nine equals 45. So he got 45. So let's see, how do I type in 45 on my iPad? <laughs> oh, it won't let me because it's on my iPad. All right, well, oh darn it. I was really hoping. Oh, now, now it'll let me. Oh, gee, but I accidentally erased the problem. Anyway, so now it's 45. Let's see, can I, can I do it? Can I do it? What's going to happen if I hit check? Let's see. Well, bam, I got the three stars. <laughs> okay. Well, I had to erase the, ex the problem by exam uh, by accident. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm just going to go right here and say math playground. Unbelievably cool, awesome tool for learning how to use tape diagrams and printing problems that are specifically designed for students to practice their tape diagrams.